Exam questions, how do you unpack them? It's very important. Now, an exa a question might have a part one, which might be identify a symbol, any type of symbol, um, or identify a diagram, a drawing, Gantt chart, Pareto, job card. Um, and but, but the part two, you might have advantages, disadvantages, and so on. For example, um, you have this company, a company wants you to use welding drawings, and uh, they produce uh, customized bank frames. How would you answer this? It's one advantage of using this. Now, these are some sample answers that you could use. And as you can see, they're linked answers. So you have the first part one mark and the second part one mark. So, and you have to apply the, the answer to the question. So um, what is the benefit for the company? This is another type of, uh, this is another example. These are two advantages, and as you can see, they're also linked answers as well. So you ha always have to refer to the benefit to the company. Why, um, why is it, what, what, what benefit would the advantage give, or what cost would the disadvantage give? You can see from the examples. These are some here, these are some strategies for uh, revising for topic B2 which is using related information. And I would say, uh, pick a type of document, explain what is um, the positive points, advantages, benefits to the company, negative points, disadvantages, costs to the company, limitations. And when you're revising, go through as many types of documents as you can think about. For example, let's pick job cards. How will you apply this to job cards. Okay, type of document, job cards, what it is. What, so what is a job card now? So you you find out, you can use your textbook, you can use your your notes, find out what a job card is, uh, what are the positive points about a job, what are the advantages of a job card, uh, and what are the disadvantages or limitations of a job card. Now, when looking, for example, when looking at the benefits of a job card, you can see a job card shows what tools will be required so that, very important, that's the link, so that the workers can check and prepare these tools beforehand. If a question comes, what is the benefit of using a job card? The first part of job card shows what tools will be required. One mark, so that, that gives you the extra one mark. Uh, for disadvantages or limitations or cost, uh, for simple, straightforward jobs, a country might spend too much time and effort preparing very detailed job cards. And as a result, that's the link, might, this might cause the job to become more expensive and delayed. So for straightforward jobs, simple jobs, you know, simple businesses, to spend hours and hours or a lot of uh, resource preparing job cards just for the sake of it might be uh, a disadvantage. Now go ahead and do the same thing you've done, we've done for job cards. Do it for uh, all these other types of um, documents that you have here. And um, just go through it. You, you can use various resources. You can use the textbook. You can use class notes. You can use uh, the internet. But all this is a process of preparing and getting ready and revising uh, for the exam so it's very important because you can get questions on anything so i wish you good luck in your exam and uh, and um, good success as well thank you bye